I've never flown in combat before, uh, but here I am being sent out. I'm part of the carrier strike group that is just outside of Los Santos. The reports are that there's some kind of invasion happening here in Los Santos. I mean, I, I just got my wings. I'm not even sure like if I remember how to put up my landing gear, but there was uh, a bunch of like Soviet era spy planes flying over the city earlier this morning. And just now we have reports that there's some kind of unknown radar activity. We believe it's an invasion force. I don't even entirely know. And to make matters worse, there we go. Landing gear's up. I've got a trigger happy wingman on my hands, but good morning. Oh, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's flying a little bit too close. Oh, yeah. That's definitely some kind of an invasion. What is that? Six different helicopters? Let's try to get a quick look. Oh, those are Russian made Mi 28 Heinz, aren't they? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. This is definitely a combat situation. I'm going to try to get a decent run on them. Um, I'm going to be using my missiles. We're hoping for target locks. I'm not entirely sure how many rockets it's going to take to kill each one. And flying too close is going to be an issue because, oh my god. Uh, there's the carrier. Let's do a nice little flyby. Oh, look at that Osprey on the deck. Man. Uh-oh. 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 I'm target locked. I'm target locked. I broke target lock for a second. I'm target locked again. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Shoot at my wingman. Isn't that what they're here for? I'm trying to do evasive maneuvers. Ah! Oh, don't worry. <laughs> That's what all the other aircraft at the carrier were for. Oh, thank God. Okay. We got picked up by a Zodiac about 30 minutes ago. We're back on the carrier. I ejected just in time. How convenient. And word has it, according to the intel, is that there's a second invasion. Now that we know what they are, we are going weapons hot. Rules of engagement have changed. Landing gear is still going up. <laughs> nice. All right, reports are in that the other group is cresting this mountain right here. I'm not sure what it is, but they're flying in formations of six. There's been multiple incursions in our airspace. And reports are that they have, like, paratroopers. And these things, which double as, like, attack ships and transports. All right, let's pull off. Is they're actually here to drop, like, special forces to try to take out, like, strategic positions, like, including the military airfield. All right, after a quick landing and refueling, I actually opted to change planes. I need something that's just a little bit better at aerial combat instead of sort of like that dual fighter bomber attack role that the Harrier's good at or the Hydro. But like, look at this beauty. This thing is armed to the teeth and it's definitely a little bit faster. Landing gear is already up. Now, the one issue I'm seeing is that we're really close to the ally held airfield, but they don't know that there's like a combat operation going on. They're trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And like, they're more than likely to shoot me down as they are the enemy at this point. So we need to steer clear of that airspace. I think they are actually trying to drop special forces troops on the airfield right now. Oh my God, this is bad. They look like they're armed with like rockets. Get me off of this thing. Launch, launch, launch. They are making extremely good headway. But now, like, there's apparently, like, a naval invasion? Look at these boats. They are trying to take the carrier by dropping paratroopers, sending in boats. Like, this is kind of nuts. And by kind of, I mean, it's definitely nuts. I've been shot down. I was picked up by a Zodiac. The reports are that there have been multiple incursions. Not only did they land their helicopter attack forces, because there were multiple, multiple groups of enemy helicopters. There were a few transport ships that kind of like came in under the guise of like commercial ships and dropped off just tons of infantry. Reports are now that there's some kind of uh, a military convoy of like some pretty heavy stuff. I, I, I think I heard ballistic missiles or something like that going on. A ground convoy? That's how much headway they've made on Los Santos and I've got to take it out, which doesn't bode well, but at least I've got, here we go. Let's test it on this hill, not those houses nearby. Got some explosive rounds. 
And I'm thinking it's actually, if I follow this street, I should be seeing them momentarily. Just gotta be very careful to avoid civilians. And you know what, let's do, let's do homing missiles. There's, there we go. There's the first one. Oh, I think those are Chernabogs. Let's do barrage missiles, see about that. I'm glad I've got a fighter escort wingman because I've got like my A-10 Warthog right here. And this thing is the ground and pound king. Apparently there's only a few more minutes till they're gonna get into like a firing position. But needless to say, oh, here we go. All right, scratch one bogey right there. There's a few more. I think they're trying to take the airfield. They have not successfully taken the airfield yet. But this is, I guess, what a a massive invasion in Grand Theft Auto V would sort of look like and sort of feel like. Oh God, we're taking, we're taking damage. I have lost control of my aircraft. The left engine, I think, is completely out. We're gonna have to go back to, I think, like homing missiles. And I've only got a few more minutes till they get into firing position. This is not ideal. All right, we're circling back for another pass. We have a lock. They're over here in these hills though, so getting a, a strong lock is difficult, especially at this elevation. There's a lot of trees that they're using. All right, mission completed. The Chernobogs, like ballistic missile launching aircraft are taken out. We're gonna go back, refuel, reland, and try to get a better idea of what exactly is happening. Landing with this thing uh, is gonna be an issue, especially with my left engine, like smoking. It's not doing too good. Let's drop landing gear. I'm already having some issues. If, if you guys are really familiar with Grand Theft Auto, like why is my aircraft just like dipping? Anyway, back to uh, the role we're playing here. I hope I don't run into that Osprey. Oh my God, that would be bad. But at this point, I just want to land. I don't even care if the aircraft doesn't make it. I just need to make it myself. Oh, here we go. Hey, perfect landing guys. We did it. Oh man. Yeah, needless to say, carrier's looking gorgeous. We've got A-10 Warthogs, V-22 Ospreys. We got like what looks like kind of the Chinook, AKA the Cargo Bob, but I need to get suited up and get ready. The sorties we've flown over the past couple hours have just been relentless. I've been shot down, I think once or twice. Uh, there's not too many wingmen still flying with me. Whoever's still invading is still invading and now orders are just becoming less and less clear. I've just been tasked with, hey, defend this area. So that is what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm fairly certain according to the map, there might be some kind of an amphibious ship trying to attack. Yeah, there's a boat really close to the carrier. Looks like a gunboat of some kind. A Kurtz 31 patrol boat? We're taking small arms fire from somewhere. They want me to protect the airfield. This is military held. Okay, hold on. Oh God, cargo bobs. Okay, they've got multiple tropes. My plane is unresponsive. I'm gonna have to bail out and parachute down and kind of like get a better idea of what's going on. You can just hear the carnage happening all over. Oh my God, dodging, dodging the power lines here. I'm gonna need a pickup. Is that friend or foe? Oh my goodness. It's the Russians. Come here. Give me this thing. <laughs> no, no. You just killed my wingman. Oh, never mind. That's like a an operator. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Yo, give me cover and fire. I'm a pilot. I'm not trained for this kind of stuff. Ah! <laughs> this is uh, going poorly to say the least. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need a gun. Someone give me a gun. Where did all these paratroopers come from? Oh my goodness. Boys, uh, just cover me. I'm a pilot. I'm, I'm extremely valuable to our operational uh, uh, chances, we'll say. Are those friends or foes? Where did all of these parachutists come from? Oh, he's circling back. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Luckily that thing's so big you can like kind of like duck between the tracks. Oh yeah. Oh, we're taking this thing over. I need to bring this back. Maybe this is how we can figure out like who's actually like invading us. Oh, it's on fire, isn't it? Guys, this is not good. But man, I just love it when planes take off from aircraft carriers. There's just something about it. It's a beautiful thing to have something so elegant and so powerful. Take off from like 
Well, a mobile airfield. But this is just like, there's all out invasion right now. Enemy planes, enemy boats. What is that? That's That looks friendly. We've got friendly helicopters, but I'm told that there's enemy helicopters. There's enemy boats. There's definitely some surface targets along the water here. Okay, there they are. So as long as we don't get shot down by our wingman, which has happened, but our wingman's doing pretty good. Look at that. That ship is destroyed. They're all trying to take the carrier because that's all we have to defend Los Santos right now. Okay, surface contact. Missiles away. We've taken out so many Mi-28 Hinds that, like, we've actually captured a couple that came in some, like, shipping containers. And we're going to be used. And so we're flying them because we, we are just, like, in desperate need of anything and everything. What kind of ships are these? Where did this, like, is this, are these mercenaries? Is this the Soviets? The Chinese? The other Americans? Like, who's, <laughs> what is this, man? Is it a civil war? Oh, God, that's a missile lock. What? Is that a parachutist? I, I can't fire missiles this close. Oh, no. You think we can land on the carrier? Uh, oh, man. If I can land on that, I'm going to consider this a successful day. Oh, no. I need pickup. I need pickup. This is like the moment where you're like, are there sharks? It's a beautiful day. Guys, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I swear, they always wait to the last minute to move. But I've got great news. I now can drop some flares as countermeasures here to kind of keep me up in the air a little bit longer. Let's say hi to the friendly helicopter. It, it's kind of tricky, man, because it looks like a lot of the ships, a lot of the enemies that we've been dealing with. But at this point, we've mostly just been flying defense missions around the carrier for the last couple of hours. I think at this point, the invasion has mostly kind of been defended. And they've mostly just been using like pretty simple, like amphibious attack craft. As you can see right there. But I think at this point... We're good enough to go back home and refuel, so that is what I'm going to do right now. And there she is. All right, we are on final approach for the airfield here. Now, I'm hoping somebody told the command tower here, traffic control, that, hey, friendlies are coming in. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Seriously? Flying in restricted airspace? What do you mean? <laughs> Look at these evasive maneuvers I can pull. This is totally fine, right? I'm... I'm not going to get shot down by friend and foe alike. This is the problem with Grand Theft Auto 5 and the mods. What is going on? I'm out of here, man. I'm just going to fly off into the sunset and hope that the invasion can defend itself from now on because these guys are trying to shoot me down. I'm kind of sick of... I'm sick of flying, man. There's just no love. I want to be a tanker. I feel like trying out tanks in Grand Theft Auto, like getting a really, really good tank war would be awesome because this invasion is not stopping but anyway guys if you do want to see more grand theft auto 5 leave me some ideas as far as like which mods are really good for like invasions and wars or trying out some really cool custom vehicles thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one